Rules is the debut novel by author Cynthia Lord. Released by Scholastic Incorporated. In 2006, it was a Newbery Honor book in 2007. It is a Sunshine State Young Readers book for 2008 to 2009 and won a 2007 Schneider Family Book Award. In 2009 it also won the Dorothy Canfield Fisher Children's Book Award. Catherine, a 12-year-old girl, is trying to drag her brother, David, to the car. David has autism, and he has to go to occupational therapy, or odd. However, he won't leave the house. Catherine decides to take a detour and talk to the moving men beside her house. She wants to know when her new next-door neighbor, also a 12-year-old girl, will move in. She finally drags David to the car and they go to Ott. When they get to Ott, she starts to sketch Jason, a boy who is unable to talk. He tells his mother, and she yells at Catherine. However, when she gives him the picture, they become friends. When she finally sees Christy for the first time, David is screaming. Christy's first words to Catherine are is he okay? Later, when she wants to meet them for real, they are busy unpacking, or not in the house. The next time Catherine goes to Ott, she agrees to help Jason by making more of his speech cards. While making the cards, David needs her to get a toy out of the fish tank, and she sees Christy talking to Ryan, a very rude bullying boy. One day, Catherine's mom is making hamburger patties, as she intends to invite Christy and her family over for a picnic. However, Christy is at her dad's house, and they fail to meet again. Catherine goes to Ott again, and she gives Jason her new cards. They talk, and Catherine agrees to make a lot more cards for him. While making the cards, Christy is invited to her house by Catherine's mom, and they finally meet for the first time. They talk for a very long time and play basketball, which means that Catherine has to miss Ott. Catherine's mom brings back a present for Catherine from Jason, which is carrots for her guinea pigs. The next time at Ott, she brings the cards and a surprise for Jason, which is one of her own guinea pigs. While they go home, Catherine gets card stock and a paper cutter to make Jason more words. When they get home, Christy is in the front yard with Ryan, and Ryan teases David with an empty gum wrapper. The next week at Ott, Jason wants Catherine to push Jason around in his wheelchair as fast as she can go, because he wants to know how it feels like to run, and she does. The next morning, Catherine and Christy go to the pool and swim, until Ryan comes and messes up the whole morning by making Christy go with him instead of Catherine. They ask Catherine to go to the community dance, but she declines the offer, saying that she doesn't dance unless she is alone or the room is pitch black. At odd, Jason and Catherine go for a walk. When Catherine sees Christy, she hides so Christy doesn't see her with a handicapped boy. Jason invites Catherine to his birthday party, which is the same day as the dance. She accepts, thinking that his will be a good excuse to not go to the dance. Catherine helps Christy make posters for the dance. Christy is rude that Catherine doesn't want to go to the dance. Catherine goes to buy Jason a guitar for his birthday, and Jason has a wheelchair that has a joystick. When she goes to the party, she lets slip that there is a dance that night. Jason asks her if she wants to go, but she hesitates. Jason figures that she just doesn't want to go with a handicapped boy, and he becomes very angry. When Catherine finally convinces him to go to the dance, she sees Christy. Christy is very rude that Jason is handicapped, and that Catherine didn't tell her that he was handicapped. Catherine and Jason dance, and Catherine realizes that her true friend is Jason, not anyone else that doesn't accept her or her friends. 1. People have good intentions to live by the rules they are given, but no matter how dedicated they are, some rules might be broken for reasons good or bad. 2. There are flaws in all of us, not just those with special needs. 3. We all try to do the best we can to fit in, but things don't always end up the way we intend. 4. Always stick with family no matter what. 5. Even the best of us can't stick to their own rules. Lord has two children, a son, and a daughter, and was inspired by them while writing rules. She states that the character of David is loosely based on her autistic son, while the character of Catherine is a mixture of herself and her daughter, who loves to draw. Most of the characters and incidents come from a very personal place in Lord's life, including the character of Jason, who was very loosely inspired by an experience she had as a kid while watching a child in a wheelchair communicating with his mother. The Q&A following the end of the book welcomes the reader with these words when asked where the idea for rules came from, I have two children, a daughter, and a son, and my son has autism. One day when my daughter was about 10 years old, she asked me, Mom, how come I never see families like mine in books and on TV? I didn't know how to answer her, 
so I went looking for children's books that included characters with severe special needs. I did find some. But most of the books I read seemed very sad to me. Sadness is part of living with someone with a severe disability, but it's only one part. It can also be funny, inspiring, heartwarming, disappointing, frustrating, everything that it is to love anyone and to live in any family. Thanks for watching.